God did not give me a thread of fear. The kinks, it blends, baby. You all don't want to warm this up? Yo, welcome back to a new vlog. Happy Sunday. I am so tired <laughs> and my voice is low. It, it was actually a lot deeper than this. This is, this is manageable. I can manage this. I'm tired. The girls left early today. They left at 4.30. I called an Uber for them and I was editing, editing the video that already went up and it's rendering now that I'm going to post it. We had so much fun. I recorded what I could, but really there were so many moments that just didn't call for a camera. I mean, they just happened so naturally that in order to record it, I would literally have to have the camera on 24 seven and these batteries die too frequently and stuff just happens. It's just too much to think about. Oh, let me get the camera, make sure it's in this position. So that didn't happen. There's, it, it was just, there was so much genuine connection, reflection, communication, heart felt, connection that took place that it, it, it's it would be difficult to articulate it all we had such a great freaking time i'm in the midst of taking off my nails it's sunday i need to get myself together <laughs> i need to get myself together for a week of filming and just the life and things so these are coming off and i was gonna do the acetone soaking hence why i started filing this i was filing it with a nail filer but i really should use my drill uh, whatever and then i saw on TikTok, someone mentioned how she soaks her nails. She keeps them because she reuses her nails. And she, my glasses are so dirty. I'm so annoyed. I ordered some new, I ordered some new glasses. Yo, are the lenses actually messed up? Because I kept wiping it with this glasses spray and these are mad foggy. I think the ones are messed up. I don't know, the coating perhaps. So she soaks her nails in, she said, hot water, soap, and oil and she reuses them and she had the nails that were rhinestoned decked out very expensive and i'm like whoa i've never heard of that i've only heard of acetone in it and obviously that's gonna you're not gonna be able to reuse the nails so i'm here i have my nail containers and i just think i've got to get myself together i finished that video and i'm ready to just do what i gotta do for myself for today and um, i boiled some hot water so i'm gonna go get that in a second but it was so great i had such a good time i i feel too I failed to express in the first video where I was prepping for it. Maybe I failed. I feel like I failed to express this, that these two, no, I think I did. I did. I did. I did. That these two friends, Sherry Mooney had not been to my house in 12, 13 years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mooney came eight years ago. Okay. Okay. So it's just been a long freaking time. I usually go home. I've met them. Sherry and I went to Bermuda. That was maybe two years ago, two years ago. And then Mooney and I went to Cabo. That was maybe three years ago. I remember. So I've seen them, you know, like I was in, I was home and anyway, I've seen them. Right. But to have them here at my home, it's been a while. That's why it meant so much to me to do things nicely, make them feel appreciated and welcomed and all of that. And it was so funny because they said it felt like a wellness retreat. And that makes me so happy because although I didn't coin it that way, I'm glad that that's how it felt because that's nice. And we all deserve that. We all deserve that. We do so much for other people. We deserve a, a wellness retreat. Okay, let me go get the water and see if I can get these nails off. Because what will happen is the nails will just come off easily, hopefully without damaging my nails, instead of the melting them down and then scraping them off. So let's do that. She didn't explain how much soap or oil to use. I, I This is my first time. We're going to figure this out. If this works, I'm going to be so excited. And hopefully it works quickly because I don't know. I don't know how fast it's supposed to work. Ooh. Oh God. Oh, I think that's too much. <laughs> Ew. And then I have to clean the oil and stuff out of here. Shoot. I didn't think about that. Ugh. Okay. The oil is what's made, what has made it yellow. Ooh. Okay. I have extra of the concoction. All right. Here we are. So now we soak. She didn't say how long. I was boiling the hot water and I said, wait a minute, I want to I want to burn myself. So this is, uh, God on mercy, this is too hot. <laughs> oh, I should have used water from the sink, but I went and boiled some. I took a little bit of the boiled water and I added some sink water, but okay, this has to cool down. This is way too hot. All right. Okay, so I'm taking them off, but I really can't say if it's coming off, quote, easily, quote, unquote, easily because of the soaking. I mean, maybe... Cause you know that I've done this, peeling it off like this, 
without soaking it, but it is a little bit more comfortable. I don't know, did that just work? <laughs> I mean, I didn't even soak it for that long. I mean, it's working. I'm gonna keep on trying and see. I'll keep on trying this. But when I peel it off with these nails, it it, it looks like broken glass. So I wonder why or how she was reusing them. Or perhaps she couldn't tell that it looks like broken glass because the nails that she had were all, they had lots of color on them, whereas this is a light pink. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Well, I will say that my nails don't feel so beat up from peeling them off like they usually do. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't very long at all. Maybe five minutes. <laughs> Okay, I just buffed my nails and let's prep them. I'm gonna prep them to do them all over again because I need my nails. I need to do my toes too, honestly. I'm just, oh, should I do it today? Oh. All right, let's do my toes. I don't count, but I know I've had these for a very long time. And I do white because it's easy and it matches everything. Let's file them down. I have this from Amazon. And of course you gotta just get it in the right direction. I think this is the right direction. I could soak off, well oh, that's the wrong direction. And I have it on pretty fast, so I move quickly. I could soak this off, but there's no point because getting off that top layer to then go and soak it, by the time I do that, the polish is off. So that's the nice thing about doing the toenails. And I feel like the toenails are a lot more resilient <laughs> than fingernails, you feel me? And I haven't done my nails yet on my fingers, I'll do that afterwards. Yeah, I could lower this down and it feels like it's freaking burning which is great. Having all this stuff at home just makes my life easier. Listen, I do my nails whenever I feel like it when I get the job done. So little parts, some of the nails can feel like, just for that burn where you know you've gone too far. And it be happening at the nail salon too, but see, they don't feel it. Maybe over here burning you. It goes, it comes off so quickly. I turn it up for the big toe because I have a big area. This is in case I have any areas to clean. So first we're gonna do it uh, nail primer. Just here's the base coat.
messy hair. <laughs> I love how this hair looks on me. My bathroom is a mess. I just go clean it up. Ooh, I just finished doing my makeup for a campaign and putting on this U part wig that I. You actually, I did it with you. I did it with you. I straightened it with you weeks ago. And I finally put it on today. And I love it. What do we think about this? I'm going to link it below. I love this. It's kinky. What is it? Kinky straight. So it matches my hair the way that it's supposed to. Let's get over here and look at this. Lo, I give you an altar. Let's put you in your usual position. <laughs> Y'all usually be right here. Okay, honey. Place is a mess. But yeah, I use this edge control from... TikTok. I don't know how I feel about it because I just put it on. I need to see how it fares. I did layer this wig when I first flat ironed it and you can see my hair separating from the unit and it still blends nicely which makes me really happy. It's not there isn't a huge difference between my hair and the wig so if it separates the world is not going to come to an end. You feel me? So I use this edge control from TikTok, Basque and Leather. I don't know how good this is. This is my first time. Stronghold for natural and relaxed hair. TikTok shop makes things so easy. It's like Instagram shop. You just be checking out and you're like, oh, I just bought six things. So I put it on and then I filled in my edges with my color wild like usual. My roots are not all the way straight. And what I love about this wig is that I don't have to kill myself to make my roots all the way straight because the wig is a kinky straight. Not me doing things differently. I don't have to worry so much about them being, you know, I didn't have to, how you call it, hot comb my edges. I'm just leaving it. It just looks like I blow dried my hair and my edges are not perfect and life moves on. So this is the length of it. It's long. I'm going to link it below, like I said. And let's see how this thing goes. It smells good. It's a black owned company, I think, from what I remember. I just saw an ad and I bought it. It was maybe $20. I don't know. I don't remember. Right? That might be the owner. I really don't even know. Let's see. Oh, you got something off with this code. TikTok shop. Oh, they have root stimulator, conditioner, shampoo, mm -hmm. dressing. Ooh, ooh. Marie's coming. She's about to give me some salad. Avocado lime, please. Period. I mean, avocado jalapeno. <laughs> She's getting me salada. And I'm thinking of Chick-fil-A avocado lime dressing. It's avocado jalapeno. I have not had salada in a minute. One thing I can't say about salada is that their meat is cold. Excuse me. You all don't want to warm this up? You're already chewing on cold leaves. Then the meat is cold. You want to come and kill me. But it's okay. It's, it's tasty, so I'll eat that. But yeah, that's what I have going on right here. I normally don't do side parts, you know, because I normally do closure wigs. And now I'm doing a U part, and I haven't done a U part in years. So this is all new to me. I like my hair in a side part. I feel like it's sexy. I feel great about it. With that said, I knew I had to lay this down because the girls do be laying it down. But I don't think that I laid it down enough. I feel like I was supposed to lay down more, which would mean that I would need less, which would mean that the U part can't come all the way. How are you all doing it? Because does that mean that all of this should be my hair? Because the U part comes right here. So that I bring it too forward? Is that the thing? I don't know. Because this is my hair. But the U part does come right here. I mean, does that mean that the U part is big? I don't know. The U part goes from here to here, okay? And it has the combs. It is loose in the back. I don't know if I needed to get a smaller cap or what. I mean, it's, it feels sturdy because it has clip. It has clip, clip, clip. And then I have comb, comb, and comb. So I, I feel, it feels secure for sure. It's, it is big though. It is big. So if your head is bigger than mine, oh, it's going to fit you, girl. It's going to fit you. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I got this down well because I don't know how much I'm supposed to slick it. I did what I could, okay? I did what I could. I did what I could. And I filled in my edges pretty low and I did my makeup. So here I am. Here I am talking a million miles a minute. <laughs> okay, ketosis. All right. I don't think I need to flat iron this, do I? <laughs> Look at me. It's a mix of my hair and the hair. And I just have a little bit of, oh, this is hot. I just have a little bit of my hair out and I blow dried it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I blow dried it and and straightened it. Whatever. I mean, my hair already has, my hair's already heat trained. So if it makes it more heat trained, whatever. That's okay. A lot of this is my hair. This is my hair actually. Right here. So I'll rise to your will in the beginning. 
praise. I've been making up lyrics. What are the lyrics? So low and give you an altar. Oh, low and give you an altar. Yes. Yeah. So I'll rise to you. Do you want to turn off or what? Yo, these smart flat irons are so sick, yo. Ha! You're gonna say, okay, thank you so much. God is good. All right, <laughs> let's clean this face up. Ooh, in case you were wondering, my blush today is Milani Cheek Kiss Blush. This is the shade 140 Mocha Mo nope, Merlot Moment. And then on my lips, I blotted it with 110 Nude Kiss. Mm -hmm. I normally do orange on my cheeks, but we're doing a berry situation. And I like it. I feel like a Barbie doll. I feel like a black Barbie doll. <laughs> I get that often, actually. Then a black Barbie doll. Let me plug in my my speaker to my iPad. I'll be having to unplug it because otherwise I'll hear this behind my cam behind my footage when I'm filming. So I have to unplug it because it's it's subtle, but it's there, and I don't like it. Okay, I like to clean up right away because I just I like to keep things clean. It's just better. I feel better. I feel better. My whole house is clean. Especially here on the counter. There's no need for me to be leaving stuff for 10 years at a time. You feel me? If we're done, put it away. All right, I'm all dressed now. I, I have been loving these tops because they're just so easy. Bought them on from Amazon. I have them in a few, a few different colors. White, brown, black. And then these pants. I forgot I have these from Amazon also. They fit me differently when I... Did I get these before my procedure? Maybe they did. I don't know. But I can always take off the... What you call it? or leave it on. I love that the back already scrunches so I don't have to worry. And you see it bubbles a little bit because my back is so flat right here. But that's a good problem to have. You feel me? It's a good issue to have. I didn't tie it too tight. I'm about to eat and I'm at home. Let's bring on Casablanca. I recently got this fragrance. It smells so delicious. It's nutty. It's sweet. It's a little light. I call it an easy blind buy because yeah, it smells good. It smells good. And I like when fragrances give me that glow because of the oil concentration in the fragrance, okay? So concentrating it here. I don't want to spray my hair per se. I don't want it to curl up. Listen, I feel like I'll be a slave to the natural hair when it comes to liquid because you don't be wanting it to revert. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but come on. Like what? <laughs> look, this is, why does this look so crimpy? Whatever. Again, it's good that my hair is kinky straight, so... If it kinks, I'm really happy. If it kinks, it blends. <laughs> if it kinks, it blends, baby. We just gotta keep combing it. Like, what in the world? <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'm, I'm into the side part. I am into the side part, clearly. Looking at myself, hi. And I have my nipple pads in case you're wondering. I'll link the ones I wear. They're huge, though. They're huge. They're taking over my whole breast. So, but the thing about the smaller ones is they leave a dent. I, I, one or two times when I wore it, can see where it ends. Whereas the bigger they are, it covers more space, so it's smoother. I could see where the, the pad ended. But these ones are so humongous <laughs> that I feel like I need to go back to those other ones. Like, come on. Okay, let's overspray. Hello, get the hands. So when you gesture, you're carrying the scent with you. We're just overspraying. This is $30. When it finishes, you just buy more. You always buy more. <laughs> oh, 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 I finished this Amika Dream Routine overnight hydration treatment. I enjoyed it. I wouldn't just do it overnight. I was using that day and night. And just had my house cleaned yesterday, so I'm really happy about that. I had to clean this sink, though, because what? you wouldn't be able to tell based on this mess. But I just finished my makeup, so... That is to be expected. Let's migrate, carrying my laptop, my iPad, yo, all of my Hunyama, just to migrate the printout of my campaign. Let's make sure when I edit it, edit it, it is all collect. <laughs> ah, blow out my candle. Ooh. Hey, I don't. Yo, relocating is a whole. Sure. Yo, what topicals in this slick south? I've been enjoying this. This joint is thick. I I st 
stay hydrating my lips because I cannot stand dryness, foolishness, nonsenseness, anything is. <laughs> and that stuff is good. That stuff. Oh, not me here to go throw my recycling outside. The recycling can is outside, so this is just extra. <laughs> While I wait on her, actually, I'm going to edit a little bit of this video. So I'm using my iPad. What is this, an iPad Air? Whatever. <laughs> I'll look it below. And I'm using the Final Cut Pro, Pro the Final Cut Pro app on the iPad. Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm not going to edit. Let me go get the door for her. <laughs> I am so full, this should be a crime. <sighs> and I didn't even eat that much food, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Having this procedure just, it shrinks the amount of space that I have. So I this, I don't have the space to expand. So when you overeat, you know how you have something just pushes out? I don't have that space anymore. It's a good issue to have. <clears throat> and when I, <clears throat> it, I, it just feels, it feels so uncomfortable to be so full. I'm gonna go get Nene from school and come back home. Yo, I've been loving this side part. I always knew that I was a side part girl. It was a struggle because obviously it requires my hair to be out. Cause yeah, I could do, oh my God, I need gas. <laughs> Yo, I need gas so badly, it should be illegal. Listen, I don't like going to the gas, we talked about, we've discussed this. I don't like going to the gas station and I need so much gas. Oh, it's cold. You're remaining Hey. Ah, it's okay. Do you need to announce it to the people? Do you need to tell them? <laughs> Do you have to tell them? Ah, <laughs> I already told them. You don't need to come and, you know, add to it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I need gas. Y'all don't feel like it's mad cold outside. I'll get it another time because, excuse me. When the inbox is slow, you're like, dang, what's going on? Then when it's busy, you're like, dang, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real. Went to have lunch with Nini at school today, which was nice. It's always so funny. His teachers are always so, they just always, they just all stare at me. <laughs> and I laugh, like I told you, because I take it as a time to get dressed. And you know, I got rid of all of my, when I nail my, so every forces me to look nice and put myself together. And then when you do your hair and makeup, it just takes you up 17 notches. So there's that. And I just love it. We talked about the reinvention. We talked about caring for ourselves and all of that is part of it. As I say, all of it is a mix. I like this hair a lot. What I can't stand though is when the wind blows. I don't like when wind blows and my hair is so pressed either. When my hair's out, no wig. Cause yo, I don't, I don't like, okay. I don't like things getting messed up. Let's put it that way. I don't like things being messed up. That's what it is. I don't like my hair being messed up. I don't like anything being messed up. <laughs> you know what I like doing in addition to being in therapy is watching videos on therapy because it doesn't all start and stop in the therapy room where mine's on the phone so it doesn't all start and stop in the therapy conversation to me I I'm always seeking more knowledge I find joy in that I like to know more than I already know and I'll never know everything today I was watching a video on dang you going mad slow <laughs> I guess you're riding the speed limit. <laughs> I would have went all over. I would have went around. I was watching the video today while showering on catastrophizing. I had to think about that. What in the world? It was on catastrophizing. And if you don't know, catastrophizing is when you predict what you think or you, yeah, you basically ruminate over what you think is going to be a catastrophe in the future. It's anxiety produced or anxiety induced and you're worrying. It's worrying about what you think is gonna happen in the future. Ooh, not this clear. Thankfully, I do not do a ton of that, but I'm always interested to learn about things because you just never know. I like to be able to identify what is going on. I like to be able to identify what's happening with other people and myself. I just like to know, I like to know things. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna research it to figure it out if it's something that I'm unfamiliar with. So let's say, for instance, you're anticipating a conversation with someone and you are catastrophizing over it and be expecting for it to go badly. You're, you're playing the role in your head that you think would happen. Perhaps you think that the person's going to wild out or it's going to go it's going to go left. Or let's say you are anticipating catching a flight next week or next month or next the next day and you're predicting or anticipating that the plane's gonna crash or something because the catastrophizing can be something that is 
completely outlandish or it can be something that is reasonable it can happen but in all what you're doing is you're expecting something negative when perhaps it might not go that way perhaps you might have the phone conversation or have a meeting with your supervisor and it doesn't go badly there are so many different ways that it can show up and it made me think because in some cases i have done that and in some situations i do that and i don't want to do that because what it does is keeps me in a state of unrest until that event actually happens so if i'm catastrophizing over an encounter and that encounter is not going to happen until three months from now then for three months, I'm expecting the worst. I am planning in my head. I am putting the pieces, I'm rolling the tip of my head and literally envisioning what I think is going to happen. But when that three months actually comes and I have the encounter, it might not go that way. And there have been times that has happened. Whatever it was, took place. And I'll be like, oh, thank God it didn't even go the way that I thought it was going to go. It wasn't even a problem that I thought it was going to be. So the video is, was really enlightening for me. And when I watch these videos, when I'm in therapy, when I'm learning and growing and evolving, I do pray through it because I want it to be clear that I'm not just leaning toward what man says about the healing that I need and the clarity that I need. I pray about it too, because not only not only do we have the idea and the, the knowledge and the research behind the idea of catastrophizing, I also know that God did not give me a spirit of fear, that he gave me a sound mind. So even though I'm saying to myself, let me think about this positively, this might not actually happen, I am catastrophizing, I should not do this, I will also say to myself, God did not give me a spirit of fear, but he gave me a sound mind. God is my peace. He's my strong tower. I can rest in him. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in today. I'm not going to worry about the future. And I'll literally speak life into stuff that I don't really believe, okay? Because, yeah, we should believe our prayers, but God knows we don't, we don't believe it when we're speaking. We're speaking it by faith, right? And being like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I really do pray that this encounter goes positively, that it doesn't go the way that I'm thinking and hoping and God take away the, the anxiety that I have about this and take away the take away all the fears that I have surrounding this topic, this area, this encounter. So I do join the two together because there is no such thing as healing without the Holy Spirit. You feel me? And that was today when I did my hair, the wind was blowing in my hair and I had to, yo, I had two things to do today. I'm freaking sleepy. And when did I get up? I got up at six. Okay. But when I was up, I wasn't up and moving around. I wasn't up and doing my freaking stepper up. <laughs> I was up and then I was doing some work. That actually took a while. I, okay, I did listen to Greater Purpose. I do watch them. I do watch the YouTube videos and I will listen to it in my ear. It's very good. I do like that. But I wasn't moving and shaking. And then I was filming and getting ready to go to lunch with me. And then I came home and then I had to edit. And then now I'm back on the car. And then boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready to go to sleep. I am ready to go to sleep. I like my hair. I like my hair. How do you like it? <laughs> On the same note of me always seeking information, I'll listen to podcasts and, and I'll take in information that has nothing to do with the work that I do, simply because again, I'd like to know. It's, it's a free world, so why not learn about things that I perhaps might not apply right now, I apply in the future. You never know. You never know if you're having a conversation with someone, you can connect with them on this topic that has nothing to do with the world that I live in but it applies in that conversation, whether it's a networking event or a podcast on a stage, you just never know. I was listening at home to a podcast on TED Talk, a TED Talk about <laughs> why pizza boxes are bad for our environment. And I was like, pizza boxes? But you know, I said, let me go ahead and take a listen. Shoot, you never know when I might be at coffee with somebody and they are an environmentalist. And then I can lend what I've learned from that podcast to the conversation. You never know. You got to have something to say. Hello.
So let's play. Let's hear what Malik is going to tell us about I get the addiction to struggling. Box where people just want to ask me some like random things, little bits of advice. What would Malik do? Oh my God, I finally got LASIK yesterday. And I want to know how everything went because I need to get LASIK and I need to know how her experience was. I don't know if she'll answer the phone. Oh, okay. So you you trying to. Uh -huh. Okay, so you trying to see right through us or whatever, huh? You trying to see right through us, holes? Ooh, not the bathroom. You've been there for a long time. <laughs> wow. So are you in a in, are you in a position to walk me through it? Yo, so it's nighttime. Oh, it's six. I was gonna say it's so dark so early. Okay, I moved my fire pit from the inside of the house because admittedly, it was making my ceiling dark. I know it's dark in here. I'm setting a mood right now. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna go get a refill of my paint. It's very important that you have the paint color that matches your walls so that you can clean things up whenever needed. Like I'm gonna do tomorrow or whenever I get the paint, or if you have children, they make a mess. Or even in high traffic areas, it can get, just get musty and dingy, and it's nice to do a refresh on the walls so it don't look so nasty. So I moved the fire pit outside, and I love it. I think it looks so cute and so moody out there, burning. I filled it up a lot more than I would have if it were in the house, because I know that it's gonna go it's free, it's outside versus when it was in the house, I would fill the fire pit up with the alcohol halfway because otherwise it would go crazy. So I'm leaving the blinds open to enjoy the ambiance of that outside. And then, you know, I have the fire going on the, on the TV from YouTube. I just love that ambiance. I leave it there day and night. I signed back up for my flower subscription, although I've canceled it twice. First and second time was because I felt like the quality was low but i'm missing something in here and it's my flowers which would normally go right here i had the fire there or this winter and now i've changed things i need the flowers and i'm not about to go to the grocery store every single week i don't do that i i get my groceries online anyway i get them delivered and i i know that's gonna cost too much to have a local florist deliver me flowers so i might as well go with the subscription so i'm gonna try them again I hope it's not going to be annoying. <clears throat> I, I went with Books. I know there's Bloomsy or Bloombox, something like that, but I'm so used to Books. So I went back to that. I signed up. My first batch comes next week, and I like to stick with bright and or neutral colors of flowers because it goes with the vibe. Hello. But yeah, I was missing the flowers. I was missing seeing them, smelling them, mainly seeing them. It just makes me happy. So here we are. I have greased up my face because I am I have broken out and my skin is just dry in general on the side of my ears all that and I have these Vaseline sticks everywhere around the house because they're just so good the all over body balm and I was sitting in my studio and I just squeegeed it all over my face my neck my chest because my neck be real dry I'm not sure if you've noticed it but right here I have a dry patch that is insufferable. So I keep on putting, my neck has just been really dry, unusually dry. So I've been putting that on there. I love it because it's a huge chapstick-like product that you can put anywhere on the body. You've seen me put on my heels, honey, anywhere, my my cuticles, the whole nine yards. So I just did that. I'm about to tune into Love and Marriage Huntsville. These people are crazy, man. I tell you, I am all hooked. I am all hooked on L-A-M-H. And if you are, you have to comment. Let me know. This is a sickness. Mm, 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 mm. I have so many thoughts, but it, I'm not even going to go into it because, oh, Lord, if you watch, then you know. But see, I normally will have it recorded on Fubo. I don't like to watch stuff live. I like to watch it recorded because, number one, I ain't got time. And number two, I like to skip the commercials, okay? I don't be catching stuff live. I don't have cable. I don't do live TV. So let me see if it's already on because I don't want to catch it live. I want, uh, 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 uh. And I had a rum and coke. I have this, what's it called? Oh, right here, actually. I have, it's so dark. I know, I'm doing the moody thing. It, I have this Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. What is it? Where are you? It has cherry in it, honey. You would think... I would turn the light on, but I refuse. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it better than I can. Yeah, it's really delicious. And I put rum, not in here. I had it in a cup and I finished it. And should I be up? I already recycled my cup. I should get another one, huh? I could do a re-up and watch my show. 
Oh, vibes, on vibes, hi. It's giving dynamite. And I'll talk more about that in a second, but let's get this on the face, this Neutrogena face mask, because my skin is dry. I hadn't given this much thought. The battery died on my, on my Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. I had no clue that it was on its last leg. So I'm charging that right now and I need to put this on quickly. You wanna make sure your skin does not get dry. Ugh. So I literally put water on my face while I was setting the camera up over here. Ugh. Keep the skin moist. Now, you would say, well, that means your body is dry, isn't it? It is, that's horrible, because I, that's not ideal, but here we are. That is not ideal. I meant to put that on, which goes onto a dry phase. And this is the Hydro Boost Mask. If you enjoy the Neutrogena cream, the face cream, then you're gonna enjoy this very, very hydrating. I'm trying to move this over so that it's more comfortable. Alrighty, today's lotion for the body is going to be the Nude Fix. What? Nude Sticks. Goodness gracious. Nude Body. This is very nourishing and it also exfoliates. Great to use at night. It has alpha hydroxy acids in it. I do the armpits also because you want to exfoliate your armpits too. Helps to control odor and to lighten up the darkness. This cream has a nice scent to it. I'm trying to hold my towel up. And it also exfoliates the body overnight, which is nice. All right, let me do this the right way. For fragrance tonight, because you know fragrance is always important, I'm gonna wear Casablanca. I've been enjoying this from Amazon. It's a Swiss Arabian fragrance. It's a warm. Oh, ooh. Almost choked me out. It's a warm scent. I'll tell you, this component is so good. With it, it sprays out so powerfully. Amazing. Back of the hands, I always do that. And then on the skin and the clothes, okay, the whole nine yards. Tonight is a night where I would have done my treatment. So when I say treatment, I mean the prescription cream that I have from Curology. It's, it's prescribed by a nurse practitioner and it treats the skin condition that I have, which is rosacea. I would have done that tonight. However, I had a breakout recently and for that reason, it started. my skin started to get dry and I knew that it was, first of all, it broke out, so rashy, okay? And then it was extremely dry. The skin barrier is impaired. And then from that dryness, it peels terribly. And I just could see that it was starting to peel. So with that, yeah, I could just keep it hydrated and let all the skin fall off, but I don't have time to wait because I do makeup, I need to move on. I can't stand looking at it. It's like I can't even, I can't even stand looking at a scab, okay? So what I do is hydrate the skin a lot. I mean, it was so dry today, I had a thick layer of Vaseline on my face. So it was very moisturized today and then in the shower with soap after i washed my face i added more soap and then i scrubbed my face gently but enough where i know i'm not gonna have the crumbled up skin all over so that is a form of exfoliation which means if i were to go right now and do my treatment I would have a breakout. I would have irritation. I would, it would be a problem. So you don't do the two. You don't do a physical exfoliation with some sort of a pad and then go and do your treatment. You just don't do that because just, just don't do that, okay? So the face mask, okay, the eye cream that I just used, excuse me, was the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright. Yeah, this is great for daytime, but you know, why not? Keep it on at nighttime too, right? Eye cream is eye cream. And this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Collagen Activating Serum. Great to repair the skin barrier. Obviously, I just told you that my skin barrier is impaired because I had a recent breakout. And with the physical exfoliation, I want to make sure that my skin barrier is intact because it it scrapes down, buffs down essentially, the stratus corneum, which is the top layer of skin. That word is such a tongue twister. Stratus corneum, right? That's how you say it. <laughs> I know a thing or two, you feel me? Okay, so that feels really good. So if you look at it, I've now got two serums on my skin because of the Neutrogena mask and then this serum. I love a good serum. There's no 
There's no, for me, there's no such thing as too much serum, okay? And then I'm gonna use the Polish Choice C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. One pump is good, but I like to do extra, you feel me? Vitamin C is great. Yes, this is good for morning time. You can also use it at night, so if it's working for you, go for it. And this is really good. I would do neck and chest, but because I did my body care first, my moisturizer is on my neck and chest. Now, let me say, I do feel some stinging on my nose here, because I've been picking at this pimple down here, and a little bit on my forehead. Now, the way you determine whether or not what you're experiencing is irritation or a sensitive or a bad reaction is whether or not that irritating feeling goes away. So right now I feel a, a light stinging, and I know that it's because I did a physical tool in the shower. I used a sponge and rubbed my skin, rubbed the dead skin off. So that is to be expected, hence why, again, I did not do my treatment. Because if I used that treatment, which is strong and it works, I would be burning. And then I would have a full face of rashes by tomorrow. I mean, it would be terrible. It would make the breakout that I had two days ago pale in comparison to what would now be on my face. Hence why you really have to know what you're doing. I've learned the hard way. If you've been here for a while, you know that I've learned the hard way. All right, now I'm gonna use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's a 24 hour light. Oh, it's a lightweight hydrating formula. I don't want lightweight, I want thick weight. Mm -hmm. Let me get something different. Lightweight tells me, Mm -mm. I want something thicker, hold on. I go based on how my skin feels. I've been doing this for years, I know, and that's why I'm choosing something different. This is a Naturium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. Mm -hmm. It's even thicker. The other one was more thin because it was lightweight. This is thicker. Normally thicker creams mean more moisture. That's normally, that's not a blanket statement, however. All right. Oh yes, I can feel the layer of moisturizer on my face. I like this. And it left a nice shine on the face. I like to go to bed with a shine. I need to shine, okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna put some of this on my chest. See, I'm not gonna go from my chest to my face. So now I'm gonna put some of this down here because the lotion that I used on my chest is an exfoliating lotion. You don't want to transfer that onto a face that you just exfoliated, okay? That's why I'm doing this last. Lovely. If you're doing a skincare routine tonight, comment and let me know.